In this video, I'm going to show you how to take control of the quantity field in WooCommerce and make it do things that you want it to do. The field I'm talking about is right here next to the Add Cart button, and it allows customers to say how many of this item they want. By default, they can put in anything they want, which can get unmanageable. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to remove it altogether, which will limit the customer to a single item. But then we're also going to take a look at a plugin that allows you to manipulate this field and make it do things it wasn't intended to. But first, let's talk about why you would want to remove it altogether. This article on WP Mayer has some excellent examples. For example, you might be selling services or subscriptions. You might have inventory limitations, which means there might be only one, like custom art. Or maybe you only have five, and you don't want one person to get all of them. There could be many reasons you might want to limit your customer to buying a single item. So let's take a look at how to make that happen first. The first method I'm going to show you is simply editing this product, and then go to the product data box, and under inventory, choose sold individually limit purchases to one item per order. So we'll update and I'll reload. And now it's simply gone. Now it still has one in there. So WooCommerce knows that you wanna buy one, but the customer can't change that. Now this is great for doing them one at a time. And if you have only one or two products that want, you want like this, then doing it manually is, is great. But what if you have a hundred and you don't wanna go one by one and turn that off? Well, I can show you how to do that with a code snippet. So first, let's turn it back on. So there you can see it. And for our code snippets, we're going to use a plugin called the original WordPress code snippets plugin, or just code snippets. It's a free plugin on WordPress.org. It's been around a long time. It's well-maintained, et cetera. It's a great plugin. When you install it, it gives you a menu option like this. And I have several code snippets installed, and one of them is called Remove WooCommerce Quantity Field. Let's edit it and take a look real quick at what's there. There's only four lines of code. We create a function of any name we want, really, and tell it to return true. And then the magic is we're running it through a filter called WooCommerce is sold individually. Now, behind the scenes, this is doing exactly the same thing as what that checkbox did in the admin. It's just doing it for all products all at the same time. The description field is for your benefit, so you can put anything in there you want. I'm going to save changes and activate. So let's go back to the all snippets and you can see it's activated right here. And deactivating is as quick as just clicking that, actually activating this the same. So now that that's been activated, let's reload again. And there you are, you can see that it's gone. So let's again, turn it back on or turn the box back on by turning the snippet off. And there we are, it's back. But what if you want something more? What if you want to control what it does as opposed to simply remove it and limit to one? Well, for that, we're going to look at a plugin called the WooCommerce Quantity Manager from Barn2 Plugins. There's a free version and a pay version. And of course the pay version comes with a few more features, but let's take a look at some of the options. When it's installed under WooCommerce Settings Products, you'll see a new Quantity Manager uh, menu item. And in here, you can do a variety of things like set a maximum and minimum dollars, a global default quantity. So you can have the page load with say a two in there and then quantity step values. So you can say that people can only increase the number of products by two or four or seven or whatever. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So order quantity rules, we're gonna say a maximum of two. So now let's take a look at how this works on the front end. So we're going to try to get more than one product and it stops at two. So people cannot buy more than two, but there are more options. Let's take that out and let's say the default quantity is going to be two. So we refresh and it starts at two. Now we haven't, don't have a limit anymore so people can change it. But let's say also that we want things sold in pairs. So the step value is also two. So it starts at two, but when you increment up, it goes to four, six, eight, et cetera. Now, in addition to these global settings in the WooCommerce settings area for 
quantity rules, you can also set them a little more fine grained. For example, this is the categories page for products. And when you're creating a new category, you can set quantity rules for all products within a category. And if you're editing an existing category, that same UI is here also. So you can set a finer grained quantity settings and optionally override global settings. You can additionally set things like this on individual products. So this is the blue dress that we've been working on. And under inventory, you can see that you can set quantity rules for individual products. And then even more fine grained, if you have a variable product and then click variations, let's take a look at small. So um, here they are right here. So let's say you have uh, fewer small size dresses than all the others. You could set a maximum number for just smalls. So as you can see, this plugin from Barn2 is really flexible and can do a wide variety of things. So let's review what we talked about real quick. First of all, we talked about getting rid of this field altogether, and that limits the purchaser to one. And we looked at two different ways to do that. And if that's what you want, that's great. Uh, removing the field is really ideal. It streamlines the whole process. However, if you need more flexibility and you need to be able to do any number of things with this field, either per product or per variation or per category or even just global settings, then the WooCommerce Quantity Manager from Barn2 is a great option.